family nice. pulled up. Make sure you pull up in some of the best pizza on the East Coast. You are ready. You are ready. Got Keith Lee on the pull up. I'm gonna keep it real with you. Oh man. Cuts and slices. Cuts and slices. Cuts and slices. Cuts and slices. Hundred dollar pie. First bite review. Hey man, listen man. Oh my god. 9.7. All the way from Atlanta. Yeah, this is what, about a year now, right? Uh, oxtail slice. Yeah. What? All the way Bro. from the Virgin Islands. We're from Whoa. North Pole, Alaska. Uh, 26 miles for cuts and slices. I gotta give everybody a slice on me. Bro. Pull up, beloved. We here. Cuts and slices. We're a black owned specialty pizzeria. Changing the pizza game. When you think of pizza, you automatically think of Italians making pizza and putting sauce and cheese on pizza, but we're changing that whole narrative of what people actually think belongs on pizza. We have amazing toppings that blow your mind when you come in. We got sweet chili oxtail, brown stew oxtail, chicken, turkey, bacon, black truffle alfredo. Shrimp. It's chopped cheese. Sweet chili salmon. Woo! Change your life. We got brown stew oxtail, sweet chili oxtail, curry oxtail, sugar cookies, oatmeal raisin cookies. We got sangrias on deck. Just ask Ram and Tamika. I'm Trinidadian. My mom definitely taught me how to cook, which gave me probably is my first passion for food. A lot of the curries and you know what I'm saying? That's all from my background. My teenage years into my late 20s, I worked in a lot of different restaurants, from five-star restaurants to chain restaurants to Dunkin' Donuts, Baskin Robin. Y'all ready? Tamika, you ready? I don't know. Let's go. And I worked for a major airline. I've been a flight attendant for almost 15 years. That's my background in customer service. He's really hands on. I'm there doing anything in the back end, <laughs> paperwork that needs to be done, or anything with the guys behind the scenes. Like we're doing it there, we have, but I don't like it there. We have to put it here or there. You can't really I've learned see. a lot from Major Airline on how to communicate and how to handle employees and staff. McLaren Kick Shop, I pretty much ran an exclusive sneaker business in New York City. I, I started selling sneakers out of the trunk of my car and just started doing concierge service for all of the celebs and athletes that would try to get exclusive sneakers, Supreme, Babe, anything exclusive, I pretty much have my hands on. Y'all want cut what? Y'all need one of these? I had a really good friend who I did a few sneaker deals with, and his family owned pizzerias growing up. He talked me into it. First time he called me, he's like, yo, a pizzeria barbershop. Call it cuts and slices. And I was like, what? That's stupid. I'm I, remember, I remember that call. My friend had already went ahead and did the LLC. It was already called Cuts and Slices. So that's when I came up with the concept. I'm like, every time I walk into a pizzeria, I would always see, all right, they got buffalo chicken, that looks good. They got barbecue chicken, that looks good. So we did cuts and slices where you can get a half of a slice. You could try way more options at one time. So you get four cuts. We don't do that anymore though. Yeah. Well, two months into my friend talking me into this business, he came back to me and said, yo, this is way too much work. It's, this is insane. We actually just closed on our first home the same month that we opened up cuts and slices. And we had to do a full gut renovation. February so 2008. As she was working and dealing with the house, I had to focus on being there seven days. I had to step in. I'm his biggest supporter, you know, it was my husband's idea. We had a lot of people for the grand opening, and then a couple days after that, it was like, all right, now what? There's over 8,000 pizzerias in and New York City. And then we didn't have as many pizzas like we do now. We had like- We didn't have the space. This was the entire shop. Literally, wait, this was just a window here. Yeah, this was just this side. Five people, maybe, tops good. Yeah. This, from here, was the shop only. That was it. And this you said, excuse it. me? This was the shop. Our pizza case was right here. And this was our entire kitchen. I remember maybe the first six months into it, like I was coming home stressed out, coming home like, damn, we're not making no money. And Ashley's like, babe, if this doesn't work in the next two months, you should probably close it down. And I was like. So this is the beginning of Cuts and Slices. I was still 
you know, selling McLaren. I was still serving sneakers. Wow. I was still like grinding. It was coming here, picking up sneakers, Supreme. It was saying? tough in the beginning to get people to come in. We're not open till 12 o'clock. Regular cheese, come back in like 20 minutes. Josh, make me a cheese pie, please. Randy just wanted to start doing like shrimp and it sold out. We're like, oh, we have some, like a sneaker release. Like, we only had like 40 pies that came in and so, sold out. So then after that, we were like, oh, we have to start dropping pizzas. Like, like, like they dropped sneakers. That worked out pretty good. 25 pies today, every pie is numbered. First 25 people to pull up and purchase a pie, get a free drink. One oxtail, one shrimp, you get an oxtail free. One buffalo chicken and an oxtail, you get a lobster and Give shrimp. them all cuts of chicken and waffles on me. Well, she gonna get this, nowhere. We would do something to market it to where you like, oh, wait a minute, I gotta be one of these 25 people to have, to have this pie. Our pizza is exclusive. You can't order our pizza on Uber Eats, DoorDash. You can't order it on any app. We don't do any deliveries. You have to pull up, beloved. The only way for you to get our pizza is to pull up, beloved. The hype that's behind sneakers and when something is hot, I pretty much just took that and did it with the pies. Throw your slice in the light box. Take your Instagram picture. Make sure you tag. And that's how social media helps you build. It's all about that now. And this was something that she got me on too, because I was not I'm trying to get on TikTok. <laughs> yeah. She had a TikTok before me and she kept on telling me about TikTok and I was like, oh, I don't need that for cuts and slices. As soon as we started posting videos on there, they started going viral. Yeah. Shout out to the people. Yeah. Because like, yeah, we've never spent a dollar on marketing, but the people is what helps us grow. Yeah. My man Randy, he got the cuts and slices pizza shop in Brooklyn. So I'm like, yo, can you, you think you can make me a pie just the crust? He like, you serious, kiss? I'm like, yeah, man, just make it. Just try it for me. So he made it. I went by and got it. Everybody was laughing. I enjoyed it. Maybe a year later, we go viral. I get a sweet chili oxtail, regular oxtail. A uh, uh, beauty salon was next door. It went out of business during COVID. We ended up getting next door. We was blessed. We expanded. We turned. We turned this side into the store. And we added more refrigeration. Originally, this was gonna be like a uh, sit down. Yeah, we originally. So COVID. We open. How you doing? Peace. Peace, peace. How you doing? The past couple of Saturdays have been really busy. People be lining up at the door from 12 o'clock to 10 o'clock to the Chicken parmesan, jerk shrimp. Uh, I got a chicken, turkey, bacon, black truffle Alfredo coming out right now. We got patties today. We got these squash and lentil patties. We got oxtail patties. We only have curry oxtail. Okay. Oh, what is that? Yeah, I'm taking the brown oxtail slice. Can we get two slices out of this, please? These are his patties, right? Now I'm about to post on the gram, on TikTok. We don't pay for any marketing. Love it here. It was viewed by over two million people. Curry shrimp, jerk shrimp, sweet chili shrimp. We got jerk barbecue sandwich. Lobster and shrimp. It's the Hawaiian. And then I started telling Ashley like, yo, I think our pages might be shadow banned or something. She's like, no, babe, I think you're just, people are tired of seeing the pizza. The same content. I said, you need to go on there and interview people. See what they say, get right. feedback. Mm. Who the f made this? I did. What's your name? Um, Stella. It's probably my favorite TikTok now. So this is for, for all my MTA brothers and sisters. I beat y'all to the point. All right now. <laughs> Stunner, talk to me. I knew it! I knew where did you guys pull up from today? We came from Philly. Philly. How long was the drive? Two hour drive to Cuts and Slices. Here for the first time. Just in the past week, I've gotten like South Carolina, Florida. It's really becoming like a New York City destination. Kansas City. They came right off the plane. They had their bags with them. They didn't even go to their hotel. They didn't even go check in yet. We from Pittsburgh, PA, the city of Pittsburgh. I follow you on Instagram. It's good. It's good. Where you pulled up from today? Jersey. Jersey City. That's like an hour and something in traffic. Right. A, a lot of time to come and try something that we've created is amazing. Amazing. You got all of the oxtails? You got curry oxtail? No, I got the uh, 
I got the beef stew. Right, you don't got to talk to me. I'm just, I'm going to get you right, a curry right. access. The celebrity customers are coming regular. Like, if Yada used to pull up to cut some slices and just get pizza, I would just see it on social media after. Oh, my God. Shout out to Quest Love. Shout out to Quest Love. Stood online for 30 minutes like a regular customer. <laughs> Nobody recognized Quest Love. You know this guy from Love and Hip Hop? We're like, no, we don't. No. But they didn't know who Quest Love from the Roots were. <laughs> and the only reason we knew about it is because customers online took pictures with him. Oxtail. <laughs> Have you ever wow. had oxtail? Yeah, yeah, not on a pizza though. I think that's how pizza sizes have grown because people fall in love with our pizza. Very good. Exactly. And they want to tell other people about the product. Guillermo, you want one? Yeah, sure. All right, you take so it's one. really just grown you. off of word of mouth. You become a family with all the different people that support. Oh, wow. That's good. You go to all these different neighborhoods and they have amazing places that you can eat. And then you come to our communities and we do have signature like Caribbean restaurants. We are putting this in our communities so that our people can also enjoy quality, delicious meals. We get great products to put on this pizza and we're trying to show people that our community eats just like any other community. We eat good. We spend money just like any other. And we're not really, we wish we could take it down a little, but oxtail's expensive. After I get all oh, this oxtail, I'm going even even more and comb through it, comb through it, comb through it. So there's no more bones. You buy here every morning about five pans worth at least. Where are you pulling up from today? From the Bronx. From the BX. I'm gonna get you an oxtail slice on me. All right. Oh, I, it's, this is pizzas for you, ma. I complimented your hair. The curry oxtail is hot if you want to try that. Okay. And this is two slices of chicken and waffle, oh, fresh man. out the oven. Man, how we looking? Looking good. Your oxtail? Coming out right now. Usually, I come in super high. I smoke, <laughs> I'll get a little creative, and I'll come up with the pizza. Looked at my last truffle bill, it was kind of crazy. Truffles are expensive right now. And then I'll let the staff try it. My favorite slice, I got a few of them. The sweet chili yasu, turkey bacon chicken alfredo, and the garlic parmesan. Do you think it's burning working with the Oh yeah, I got, I got a whole bunch of them right here. Come on. Battle scars for the people. It's just you gotta be, you gotta be on it. You gotta be fast. You gotta know what you're doing. You gotta know what everybody else is doing. You gotta know the little toppings. It's a quarter, quarter, quarter. Yeah, so that's you can choose your your favorite four toppings. Get it on a quarter, quarter, quarter of a pie. We color coordinate the different uh, cutters for the shrimp as a blue cutter. I'm just grateful for it. It's like, this is special, like, I don't see any other pizzeria than you do. This is more than a pizzeria, this is a lifestyle. This job really told me that I could do anything I put my mind to. Because there was a lot of stuff that I just counted myself out on, or I just doubted myself, just by the sound of it. But actually taking the time and effort to try it and do it, I figured out I could do anything. It doesn't, it doesn't stop when we close our doors at night and in the morning. We're always there for our employees, we're always there for our our community, we try to give back. We just had a block party. If you have a passion for shoes, or if you ever loved shoes or collected shoes, it's always a dream to maybe one day design your own shoe. Nobody ever thinks about actually doing that, especially if you're not a basketball player or a rapper or, I'm just, <laughs> to be honest with you, like I'm a high school dropout. They told me I, was, I would never make it out to be anything. You know what I'm saying? I'm a successful black business owner and I have my own sneaker with a global company. Like, I couldn't even, I can't even put into words how that makes me feel, honestly. Just seeing my shoes sold in countries I've never been to. This is the Queens location, Queens Cuts and Slices. This is historic in our community anyway. I don't know if you guys have ever seen the movie Belly when um, DMX pulls up on Nas and the feds have ran down on Keisha and he's like, I gotta go call Keisha. Let's go down to Linden and use the payphone. This walking. is the block that they walk down. Right hand, they actually walk past what will be cut some slices on 12th and Linden. Yeah. And he used the payphone right on this corner, Nas and DMX. We did bigger ovens here. We have a full kitchen here. We have fryers and grills and we have a walk-in refrigerator here, so yeah, we probably got a lot more space to to feed the community. Yeah. I want it to be where you're like, oh my gosh, Cuts and Slices started in Brooklyn, and now I can get it in Miami, Atlanta, London. Los Angeles, London. Like, 
I, I ideally see this being everywhere because it's something that's so unique and we're in our own lane with this. Yeah, everybody comes from different places, you know, everybody got a lot of things going on at home, but when you come here, it's like a big family.